Hello everyone, we got actually start today's video. Now, this just came out from Bloomberg. New, the SEC has a path to crack down on the 131 billion stablecoin market. Uh oh, there we go. Perhaps this is FUD? Probably it's not. Guys, what do we see right here? SEC, oh, the SEC, Gary Gensler, right? Again. Very interesting that the SEC is going after Ripple and now they're talking about going after what the stablecoin market gets path to reign in stablecoins as US weighs new rules. Guys, so very interesting. So again, what have we been talking about all this time? Tether, 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 the ticking time bomb, right? So if Tether collapses, by the way, or if Tether plummets, it's basically over for Bitcoin, Ethereum, these coins. But now, if XRP gets clarity at the same time, Tether perhaps collapses, what happens, right? Everything else falls, XRP, all that money will flow into XRP. Guys, it's actually insane how all this is coming out right now, right? The timing of all of this is very interesting. Now, Gold Telegraph is tweeted out. The Treasury Department and other agencies will specify in a highly anticipated report that the SEC has significant authority over tokens like Tether. Guys, look at that. They stated a stablecoin called Tether. Hmm, surprise, surprise. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's see what they have to state right here. So, if you go down here, the SEC has a significant authority to over tokens like Tether. Again, isn't that crazy? The recommendations could reinforce the SEC's ability to pursue enforcement actions and policies for cryptocurrencies. Again, perhaps regulations, right? Up on the horizon. Which, what did Brad Garlinghouse state? 99% of these coins will have to go away. Regulators concern. Look at that. Tether's market. You, isn't it interesting why and how they are all states Tether but not any other stablecoin? Guys, the predictive programming is very interesting. If we go down here, authority is already cracking down again. And then we see right here, SEC's investigation. So if SEC, if the SEC went after what, Ripple, why won't they go after Tether, guys? Which obviously Tether we know is a Ponzi. So again, the proof is basically in the pudding. We just have to be careful. I'm not saying that it's going to the SEC is going to crack down on all of these stable coins. We just got to be careful, guys. Right? Jubjang is sweet out. This from SEC website. I got the links of the website. Look at this. Literally from the SEC website. Cryptocurrencies. What do we see right here? We go down. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. That are accepted to be currencies. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 The SEC is suing Ripple, right? Thinking that it's a security. The SEC is thinking that, hey, it's a security. But what do we see right here? That, wait, it, it's, a, it's a currency? Um, hello? Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP that are generally accepted to be currencies and are currently not subject to regulation by the SEC. Again, whoa, guys. Come on. Okay, that's actually hilarious, guys. Guys, the proof is in the pudding. It, what is happening? Now, I don't understand how they claim XRP to be a security if this is taking place from Sammy. Today, we started to accept XRP as payment method. Look at this, guys. Again, the adoption of XRP, XRP. There we go. How is it a security if these things are taking place right before our eyes in the real world, guys? We're talking about the real world. We're talking about utility and the use cases. Guys, it's all before our eyes of what's actually happening. Now, with all this happening, what's happening with the price of XRP, right? From Aquaflow, XRP. Chart right here. This analysis tells us that a big move should start in November. Oh, again, November time frame. We have been talking about this for a long time now, right? The last time we have got a bull run without taking out the former all-time high. Hopefully, we can do it this time too. We see right here, time will tell at the end of the day. Again, look at this bull run start. Start as well. And every time we had the bull run start, it reached a new all-time high. For the XRP Bitcoin synchronization chart right there, 
new all-time highs over there as well. Over here as well, new all-time high. And then we had a bull run. Uh, bull run starts. Look at that. New all-time high. What's happening right now? Wow. This is insane, guys. What? This chart is actually insane. From its creation of Bit, uh, XRP, we should say XRP to Bitcoin, right? If I'm not mistaken, right there, XRP Bitcoin. Look at this. Every time we reach a new all-time high, the bull run for XRP went insanely high, guys. Wow. And it's showing us perhaps in about November, it's about to begin. So guys, I probably will buy more XRP here very shortly. Very, very, very beautiful. Now, this all ties in with Ranger XRP because even though a lot of people hate BitBoy Crypto, but we should appreciate him because you know what he's been doing. He's putting more attention onto XRP and Ripple, which is a very good thing, guys. Let's take a look. Let's take a look right here. Uh, this this was a message here from at BlackBerry XRP here on the Twitter's verse. He says, "A tr report for duty. A true supreme leader will help us finish the race. We need you to do what you can. Tweet and mention on YouTube concerning the XRP class action lawsuit led by John Deaton." Um, he is the founder of crypto-law.us. Um, he has 127.3 thousand followers, pretty popular. Uh, he has a class action lawsuit. He wants to get to 100K. Did we retweet this? Well, here we go. Let's retweet it right now. Uh, come sign up for the lawsuit. Sign, uh, soldiers. It's time to make your voice known. I hope this is still valid. Time to make your voice known. Uh, signed, your leader. Hashtag XRP. Hashtag Ripple. No. At Brad Garlinghouse. Got at least XRP Army. Hashtag XRP Army. There we go. There we go. We retreated. There you go. We did it. Uh, but you put your you put your email in here. Uh, your name. You can show it now. Email. Uh, first and last name. Address. Uh, do you reside in the U.S.? Please uh, select the country. Put your phone number in your comments. Uh, fill that out, and boom, you can uh, you can submit that. You can get involved in the lawsuit and uh, get it going. So um, we are certainly uh, very happy to take part in this and to help people sign up for this. Hey, hey, I mean, he is, you know, putting more attention to the to the to the lawsuit and all of these things which is very good for ripple xrp and the whole community as a whole guys so no need to hate on bitboy crypto now back to sweet L. today mastercard announced a partnership with back to make it easier for merchants fintechs and banks in the u.s to embrace and open access to a broad set of cryptocurrency solutions and services guys look at that right mastercard and back uh, uh partnership mm. what do we see right here remember what XRP, XRP Ledger. Compare XRP between every other thing, guys. Look at that Visa, MasterCard, right? Look at that XRP. So guys, very interesting to say the least of what actually is happening, right? Now, this is an interesting perspective we see here from C3 Nick. I'm pretty sure we talked about this before, a lot of times before, but let's take a look right here. I do wonder if meme coins such as SHIP get pumped by professional investors in order to distract the masses from the really valuable projects giving these investors plenty of time to accumulate value while trapping retail in worthless coins would be genius again remember eye on the prize that's why bg123 stated eye on the prize what and what is the price xrp there's so much distractions going on like we see meme coins taking off right but all of a sudden out of nowhere if you're not into the xrp rocket ship and spaceship you'll be left out because remember it's going to take place and rock it overnight guys so i'm pretty sure I, I truly believe that's how it's going to take place but obviously nothing is certain 100 percent guaranteed but in my humble opinion from everything we have been seeing from the events videos news all of these things it all adds up to xrp and xrp mooning insanely when the time is right so guys Everything seems to be adding up from everything we have been seeing throughout the years. Hopefully soon it is time because I'm actually excited, guys. Seems things do seem to be moving here very shortly. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying today's video. If you guys have please like, subscribe, and subscribe to pretty much you guys are having an amazing day. And you guys, see ya. Old man, he's always right. Because he's telling you what you don't want to hear about yourself, but what you know is true. And that is, you're not stepping yourself up. You're not stepping your game up. And you get caught up in fear. 
as Dan says, false expectations appearing real. 